So most likely if you see the title of this video, you are most definitely or most likely a under eater. And no, you are not a hard gainer because from experience and truth be told, I used to say the same at myself that I was a hard gainer. Even though I would eat tons of calories, I simply cannot put any size mass or even muscle uh, which my delusional self back then would say to myself and i'm here talking in this video which will be the topic of this video explaining why you're most likely a quote unquote an under eater and not a hard gainer so the first reason is most likely you eat like a bird and this is a metaphor that i often say to most novices and beginners most especially and a metaphor which just simply means you think you eat a lot and you think you have a big appetite which uh, also was with, which was the case with myself an example I tend to I most often overestimate uh, the calories I eat on a daily basis and most likely I underestimate my caloric intake and majority majority of the time uh, most of the time it's either I'm on the maintenance and probably even lower my lower and below my caloric maintenance and the second reason is uh, I'm also very guilty about this uh, second reason is most often I get too distracted uh, during the time that I eat and what I mean by this the longer you eat and the longer you sit uh, staring at your food and the longer you chew on your food it actually increases your decreases the high likelihood of you having a huge appetite and I think I don't know the science behind it uh, these are also one of the many tricks I did on my cutting face is either I eat I will take a longer time just chewing and savoring the food which in turn would probably decrease my hunger and my appetite. And again, as an example myself, uh, back when I was younger, I would also watch TV uh, at the same time, eat uh, during lunch, and this in turn would take me hours and hours, uh, just, just, you know, wasting away instead of just eating properly. And in turn, I never gained weight. And those who are also easily distracted by their mobile devices or their companions, their peers that they... Or individuals that are easily distracted uh, alongside their peers who most of the time talk too much on the dinner table, they most likely, most often... Uh, have their appetite suppressed and probably someone in the comments down below explain the science and the reason behind why uh, being distracted during the time at the dinner, dinner table would increase the chance and likelihood of decreasing your decreasing or suppressing your appetite and uh, just explain it down below if you will and the third reason is the I know some all of you majority of you are very guilty of this I almost I almost became guilty of this is because the third reason you're most likely an under either is you obsess over protein what I mean by this yes you do need protein, most especially if you're on a strength training program. Uh, 
strength training protocol, strength training program, whatever you like to call it, majority of you would take it the wrong way that all you need is protein, protein, and protein. But truth be told, uh, actually a high protein diet would most likely get you lean. But if your goal is to gain weight, gain mass, gain size, uh, it would most likely be an uphill battle. What I mean by this, yes, you would most likely get results either way, but it would take more slower and a longer process compared if you just ate a lot of carbs, starchy carbs, right? Your rice, your potatoes, your sweet potatoes, your pastas, and of course, you never forget the fibers. So your greens, your beans, uh, of course, uh, leafy and colorful veggies, which also contains a lot of your micronutrients, your vitamins and minerals, which are also very vital if you are also planning in, if you are to become more swole and jack, and by swole and jack, you're also fit and healthy. So never underestimate the power of carbs and fibers. And the fourth reason why you're not, fourth reason why you're likely not gaining weight and you are most likely an under eater is you're most of the time dehydrated. And recently I've been correcting this habit of uh, hydrating myself as much as I can on a daily basis and my minimum, at least the bare minimum of the water I consume is half a gallon and yes, it's not an exaggeration and at the very least and bare minimum, I drink half a gallon of water on a daily basis. So it means also taking a lot of time in the bathroom. But if the goal is maintaining weight and even gaining weight, uh, hydration is key. Of course, as you have known, your body, your muscles are made of 75% of water. Then the last reason you're most likely an under eater and not a hard gainer is you should, you are not supplementing your bulk with exercise. Uh, this last part, uh, if you are very successful in gaining weight, but you don't like the way your body looks, composition of your fat-free mass to your body fat percentage is you're most likely not supplementing your caloric surplus with exercise, your strength training, your cardio, your GPP, or your general physical preparedness uh, training. And in short, it's just cardio but with uh, more functionality. And yeah. That's it. That would be it. And this is actually taking longer than it should. But again, the closing verdict on why you're likely an under eater and not a hard gainer is you eat like a bird. You're too distracted whenever you're eating. Your obsession over protein. You're too dehydrated and you're not supplementing your bulk with uh, training and exercise. So that would be it for today's video. Uh, if you find this very informative and helpful, uh, give it a like, uh, subscribe if you haven't, and comment down below. Uh, what are the other comment down below? What are the reasons why some individuals are most likely not gaining weight? Also, comment down below if you have any known reasons why an individual has a hard time in gaining weight. That would be it for today's video. Uh, thank you for watching and have a good day.